Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I've leveled up the fastest ways to gain XP and explaining how your pinnacles and minnacles work and explaining how to maximize and get the most out of your rewards. So as you can see, I'm actually, I'm actually on my Titan, which you can't see, but as you can see, I'm 1350. Uh, so let's, let's look and see, that gets me a 230 season pass a level. So the way that I do it is, if you're doing all three characters, you're talking about 1.5 to 1.7 million a day, which is a lot. If you're only doing one character, then it's five, five to six to hundred thousand, which is fine. I, I, I would say go at the speed that you want to go at, because you're going to be doing a lot of bounties. So, how do I actually go about doing this and doing all my activities and still getting my playtime in? Well, first off, you want to make sure you've got a masterwork ghost, have blinding light on. And I put Loot Seeker and Considerable Glimmer Booster. Now, Loot Seeker gives you 20, 20 meter radius from finding caches. And Considerable Glimmer Boost is a 20% uh, increase in your Glimmer gains. They help you negate the amount of Glimmer you're going to be spending on your bounties. When you go to somewhere like the Cosmo, uh, Cosmodrome that has 9 bounties to pick up, 16,000 Glimmer. There are 5 of those. So it stands to reason it's 80,000 Glimmer just to pick those up. If you're doing all three characters, it's 240,000 Glimmer. Uh, this will help you not be burning through all your Glimmer. So secondly, let's talk about how to actually get through them. So as you can see, I have got two pages and then one spare. So that's what, 57 bounties to hand in. The way I do this is when I come on, I treat doing the bounties as not, not as like a chore. I, I treat it as my warm up. So when I come on, I go straight to the tower and I pick up all of the gunsmiths and I pick up all of the vanguards unless they've got champions from Nightfalls. Then I don't bother. I leave that one. Anything that's a specific thing, you have to go into a specific activity to do that's not part of my route, which is the key word here. You need to have a route. Then I'll pick all the rest up. And then I go to the helm. So from uh, the Splicer server, I'll pick up the first two, working left to right. I pick up the first two because they're normally just weapons and abilities or, you know, whatever kills, precision kills. Uh, and then the the next one is to be done in here. I don't bother with the override one. And the last one is a specific enemy. Hobgoblins I normally don't pick up, but Vex Harpies I will pick up. Because where we're going to be going and what we're doing, we stand a chance to kill a lot of Harpies. Then I go over and I pick up the Wayfinder's Compass bounties, the f daily bounties. I don't touch, same with the Splicer server, I don't touch the additionals because it means having to go into the seasonal activity and we're not going to touch that. The four daily bounties can be done anywhere. So I pick them up. Uh, and then once I've done that, I go to the moon. I pick up all of Eris's bounties unless she's got Phantasmal Fragments or a Public Events. Normally don't pick up the public events, but I never pick up the Phantasmal. So there's a chance for me to get from there eight bounties. Then I go over to here. If it's a Tuesday, it's worthwhile notice, noting I don't do her weekly bounties because they're just not worth it. So the first two, they're not worth it. For an XP gain, they're not worth it. The Lectern has two weekly uh, bounties as well. One of them is Kill Nightmares Anywhere. That includes Lost Sectors. So I pick that one up because it's it's big XP. And then there's a repeatable one, which is the last last weekly daily bounty from left to right. It's the last one on the right, which will be to kill nightmares either on EDZ or Nessus. I pick that one up. That is obviously the week the daily ones reset at reset. So I pick that one up every day. Then I do my moon bounties here. And what you will find is when you're doing your bounties. The weapons from your gunsmith, the weapons from uh, the splicer, the weapons from uh, the astral alignment bounties, and the moon bounties, sometimes they they will coincide. So it'll be like get art kills, get SMG kills, get energy kills. And they could be three different sets of bounties that can all be done by using something like the Ikelos SMG. So have a look at your bounties and see how many of them overlap. Gunsmith can be done anywhere, obviously. So I do my moon bounties, and by the time I finish them, I've normally done a, quite a lot of my gunsmith bounties, and I've done some astral alignment bounties, and maybe a splicer bounty. 
Once I'm finished here, I, th I then go to the EDC. I pick up all Deverance bounties, and depending on what they are, if they can be done whilst I'm in here, which is where I'm going to go next, if they can be done there, then I just go into the Lake of Shadow Strike. If it's like get Lost Sector caches or st st stuff that doesn't match in with my Vanguard bounties, I'll do them first. Maybe finish off if there's any individual gunsmith bounties I haven't finished or whatever. Then I load up the Lake of Shadows. There are a lot of people speedrunning this at the moment. And that's fine. They're quite welcome to speedrun this. If you go in there, you there's a chance after about five minutes, six minutes, maybe seven minutes, you're going to get dragged to the boss. It's still worthwhile doing because this is the second kind of secret or tip, should I say, about doing, doing leveling, XP gains. If you do like a closed server where you, I don't know how you do it on Xbox, but I've heard on PlayStation it's either put your clock back or forward. If you do something like that, you miss out on the activity XP. With this, the chance you get, I mean, it's not like you're not helping them. This isn't a heroic playlist. They're not getting a pinnacle from this. They're doing it to speed run it and they're, you know, it's accepted almost that this is where you come to do bounties. So if people are speed running it, allow them to let them. It's cool. You'll get dragged to the end, you'll get, one, upon beating the boss, you'll get Vanguard XP, you'll get normal XP, and you'll get Glimmer. Maybe even some legendary weapons. So it's it's all win. Then you can just go back in and finish off whatever bounties you need. Once I've done there, once I've done the, the strike bounties and the EDZ bounties, I've normally finished all my gunsmith. I make sure I've finished all my gunsmith. If... If you've got, say, shotgun kills from the Astral Alignment, you could probably save them till you get here. The Cosmodrome bounties are very vague bounties. They're not specific bounties, so it won't be like get kills with this weapon. It'll be get kills with this type, so energy, kinetic, heavy. So if you've got, like, machine gun kills from, <clears throat> from your gunsmith bounties, you could leave it till you got here. You know, if, there's, if nothing else asks you to do... Machine gun kills. If none of the other planets have got that, you can leave it till you come here. These are the easiest bounties to do. Even sometimes they've got like do a public event. Even that's pretty easy, as long as there's public events here, and there normally is. Sometimes you'll come here and there's none, and there's none here for a while. Just go about doing your bounties. Eventually, one will come. Once we've finished here, then I go to Nessus, and. So this week, the the Lectern of Enchantment, the, the Nightmare Bounty is, is to kill Nightmares, uh, to kill Nightmares uh, on Nessus. So I come here, I pick up Failsafe's Bounties. Now it's worth noting, sometimes you'll go to Failsafe and you will not be able to access Failsafe. If that's the case, come to your map, reload the checkpoint. If it does it again... Reload the checkpoint again. I've never had to do it more than twice. I, I don't know why it does it. I've, I've, a lot of other people that I've spoke to have said it happens with them. So just reload this checkpoint up. And just straight from here. If it's the Nessus uh, Nightmares, I go to this Lost Sector here because it's it's, it's quite a simple, straight, straightforward one. Normally it's like the bounties from safe, fail safe. If it's Kill Fallen... I kill them here first. If it's get caches, I get the caches. I do that in Exodus Black. If it's get void kills or super kills or cabal kills, solar kills, I go here. Especially if I've got to kill the nightmares. If not, I just go into this lost sector, the rift, and there's like a whole host of enemies at the start of this lost sector that you can kill with whatever super energy type, whatever. Now, it's worthwhile noting when, when it says get super kills, you want something that will extend. You want supers that will last. So, couple, if it's Warlock, couple uh, Crown of Tempest with top tree uh, um, uh, Stormcaller. With Hunter, me personally, I would go Arc Strider with Raiden Flux and Titan. I would probably, if you if you can use it, if you if you have... If you have, if you can't use it, if you're not sure how it works, then this would be a good way to learn. Bottom Tree Sentinel with Doomfang Pauldrons. Learn how to make them work, and you can make your super last forever if there's enough if there's enough enemies. So once you've done that, then you finish off on Europa. I pick up 
on a Tuesday I pick up normally one of the weeklies, which is the do law sectors, bounties and patrols and all that on what on Europa. I normally don't do I normally don't do the Empire Hunt one. I normally don't bother with that one. So I pick up all the rest. Do those. Uh, you same as the same as the moon. You'll always have a bounty that you have to go and kill enemies in a certain area. That's the only time you are, you have to go to a certain area. If you pick up kill Vex harpies, go to this lost sector, Perdition. It's just there's just so many of them, and you'll complete that bounty in there. And then that that is your that that is that is that is the route that I take when I'm doing the bounties. Now, tips. Hints and tricks on how to do this because there's more than just the bounty thing. It's a couple of things that we need to speak about. One, as I've already said, fully master what your ghost, get that 12% additional loot seeker and considerable glamour booster. Secondly, if at all possible, do not hand your bounties in unless you're in a fire team with someone else, even if it means messaging someone in the tower. Can I jump on you to hand my bounties in, please? Normally, people say yeah, and you'll get. Shared Wisdom, it's a little green triangle underneath your prime attunement where I've got my cursor. It'll appear there, wait until it's there. That's an, that's an additional 12.5% glimmer. The third thing is you have to... People that close off their servers and do all that kind of nonsense, the, the bounties become it, you know. If you're doing a bounty grind, if you really want to increase your power level, you really want to get high season rank, you really want... I mean, that's we're not even two weeks out. I've got 21 plus power XP power bonus. If you really want to get that, stick some music on while you're doing it. Or put on a film or something to draw your attention away. You, you'll just race through the bounties. It takes about an hour and... Between an hour and an hour and 20 minutes to do all of the bounties on one character. So... I'm sorry to tell you, but there really isn't any kind of way to bypass that time. If you want the rewards, you've got to put the time in. But this is the easiest way to do it. 550,000, and that's not even for the activities you're doing. 500, 500, 550,000 XP per day per character. You can't, that they're the best rewards other than cheesing it that you're going to get. The other thing, as I've already said about additional XP, if there's a public event in the area and there's enough people there, go and get involved in it and then leave. If they don't need your help, if there's three or four of them, even if there's two or three of them and they're, they're, they're slaying out, just make sure you get the XP from it, the glimmer from it. Do a patrol in every area. The patrols are worth 800 to 1200 XP. So if you do a patrol in all five areas, that's culpable to another daily another daily bounty that is the best way i found to do the xp i've been doing this for a long time i have got took accounts from 1100 to gm level in 16 days that's getting all the weapons getting the power level doing all that this really is an an extreme way to do it but it's a really efficient way to do it i'm just going to do one more thing before we end the video which is speak a little bit about power level how to how to maximize your your rewards so you can see there, I am 1329. That is built up of all the, that is my overall gear level. That is built up of my individual gear levels, power scores. Sometimes, if you're 13, let, let me explain this first. If you're 1320, to get to 1321, you either need all eight pieces, so your five pieces of armor, three weapons, to get to 1321, or you need four pieces, whatever four pieces it is, to get to 1322. There are eight individual gear scores and an overall gear level, right? How to work out where you are in that eight individual levels? You could have, you might be at seven eighth. You might have seven power levels, seven individual power levels over your gear level. So you might not need to do a, a pinnacle to get your gear level, to get your next overall gear level. It's not worth doing pinnacles if you only need one individual gear level, if a legendary will give you it, a pinnacle, uh, 
a prime, sorry, a prime engram, a clan engram, you know, uh, the rewards you get from doing bounties, which is it's worthwhile adding when you hand in your, when you go and collect your bounties, they give you XP that's culpable to a weekly. So when you, when you, when you do your gunsmith bounties and you get the reward from the gunsmith bounties, th that's culpable to a weekly reward. So try and do that in a fire team because you'll get the 12 plus 12.5% 12 XP gain on top of that. It's not what so it's not worth doing pinnacle activities if you only need one individual gear score to get to raise your power level. So this is how you kind of do it. A lot of people that I've spoke to kind of struggle with this. 1329. That's 1330, so that's one above. That's one one eighth. That's 1330, that's two. Now that is 1328. So that drops me two because it's well, it drops me one because it's one under my power level. I actually have a 1329 heavy, it's just not on this character. So that would be, I, I was plus one, plus two, now I've gone back to plus one. Plus two, nothing, nothing. That's two under. And now that's the same level, so I'm exactly 1329. So... It's a little bit easier when you're at 1329 because you can only go to 1330. So everything now is going to put me to 1330. But if you're 1322, then it's worthwhile learning how to do that, how to count your individual gear levels to work out how close you are to getting a power level. And that's the video, guys. That's that's a wrap. I hope this really helps you. Be careful when it comes to bounty grinding because it really can burn you out. As I say, try and have something else playing in the background, take your attention off what you're doing because there's no thought really involved in this make it its own activity and then you can focus on it at the start of your play session as i say you don't have to go as extreme as i, I i've went i have a challenge in mind i'm trying to hit a specific score uh in a specific set of time but as you can see you can argue as sabathon said you can argue with the methods but you cannot argue with the results so I'm 13.15, we're not even two weeks in. So this really works. I hope this helps you get some power levels fast. I hope you find your own route, find places in different planets where you can you, you can go in. Lost sectors are good because nobody else can come in there with you, really. And I, I hope to see you all at, the, at a level where you can do master content and you, you can be competitive within hard mode raids and all that type of thing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you did like the video, if you appreciate this sort of content from me, leave a like. Always welcome. And take it easy. I will see you guys in the next video.